Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, this reading is not based on astrology, so feel free to watch it at whatever placement that you have. As long as you're not out of place. You got me. <laughs> In astrology, that is like, I should make a meme. You know, I have I have a lot of placement. Okay. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> What does it mean, Ate? <laughs> Six degrees, seven degrees, eighteen degrees. Is the moon waxing, waning when you were born? Is is it aspecting? Is it sitting in the trine, the Kendra houses, or we just think we have a lot of placement? <laughs> yes, it's me, and I'm back with a lot of coffee. Let's begin, Gemini. It's not based on astrology like what I mentioned, so feel free to watch it. And try not to feel like you always have to resonate. Messages in the future should never make sense because it's the future. When I tell you you're going to get engaged, of course there's no ring in your finger. <laughs> I would say it in the future. <laughs> okay. What I need you to know is your size. <laughs> size 5? 6? Normally uh, women are 7. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on with you guys here. Okay. For my Gemini. We'll be looking at romance, other factors in your life. I just did your tarot after dark. So make sure to check that out also. I'll put it in the comments in the description box. Just in case you guys missed it. Ten of Wands. The end of a gruesome time. Whatever you've worked hard for, it's coming to an end and fruition will come. Ten of Wands. You are a hardworking person. All the burdens right now is being lifted. The Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of, um, how to say this, releasing and letting go, but over committing to a lot of, um, how to say this, to a lot of things, you know, like yes to this, yes to that. And then you find yourself burdened. Because a ten of wands, it's too much. So you have to let go. But here, it's showing that you are continuously working hard, day and night, just pushing and pushing and pushing with a ten of wands. The ten of wands is also an energy of, um, how to say this, of finality, the results. Because nine is the, um, the ending, ten is the outcome. So everything, again, that you have committed to is now, um, it's now time for you to see the benefits, which is good. Okay? You could be also moving the Ten of Wands, relocating Ten of Wands, packing your stuff, and um, changing location. That's a Ten of Wands. Let me see. For others, this is a relationship that has so much burden. This is a relationship that has been, uh, um, you know, like you're the only one taking action, making effort, and the person is not um, contributing. Nine of Cups, very good. Um, wishes being granted. Um, this is enjoying time with your friends, uh, hanging out. Um, the Nine of Cups is a card of, uh, how to say this, emotional fulfillment um, through various things. Going out in a restaurant, enjoying good food, receiving a lot of attention from people, and this is praises. The Nine of Cups is also a card of acknowledgement awards, normally behind it. Um, in the traditional tarot, those are awards, achievements. Like, you know, you're working for something, then you get a plaque, a medal. Normally, that's the case. Or a certificate also. Here, in this card, it is showing that you are just enjoying good time, good company, and having a ball with the Nine of Cups. With the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups, it feels like you're taking an R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. This is good for you. Very healthy. Okay. You have the King of Cups. Very nice card for you, Gemini. Now, the King of Cups is a card of, um, how do you say this? Love. It's a card of intuition. King of Cups is not scared to fall for anyone. In, act in actuality, they share, they express, um, and they love love. You know, that's the King of Cups. They put effort. They make things happen. They are committed to, um, how to say this, to... Um, everything that gives them joy. So you're that kind of person who reciprocates, who, you know, like, you always just want to be in love, can be with the King of Cups, because this is a card of obsessiveness of love. Um, 
And I feel like you're not obsessed, but you'd love the idea. Like you like to watch romantic films, you know, like they call it chick flick. Is there a bro flick if there's a chick flick? Because why is it one-sided, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, normally, it's the bros who loves the chick flick. Trust me on that one. Okay. <laughs> um, the King of Cups over here is uh, showing that you're looking forward to meet someone or be around someone. Okay. This is good. You're very optimistic about your love life right now. Nice. Okay. Now, the King of Cups is also a card of, um, it, it's not a mystic, but you're, you're like intuitive. You could you could have your um, like gifts, like you can feel other people's energy. It can also be like you're receiving um, visions in your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's also the bringer of change. So you're changing the way or the dynamics that you date. Okay. You're more open, I feel. Not loose open there is a difference okay <laughs> you have the page of swords someone is definitely an you know have their eye on you the page of swords is a card of trying to get to know you they're very interested look at that i have my eye on the gemini eye on the price now if you see behind it there is the that eagle that hawk okay the bird right there birds are normally the significator of a message and the swords over here is communication. So, and then the eye, of course, it's showing a vision. So someone has eyes on you thinking, swords are thought, and then the, the, the bird over here to message you. Now, you're going to ask me why they haven't messaged me. The page is, is an energy of age. So normally, the more mature the, the card is, let's just say it goes to queen, king, all those things, then it has the energy, the courage, uh, the courage, the courage, bizarre, mandui, courage, the courage, okay. Tagal na ako sa America, pero may punto pa rin. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> majority of my life is here, but I don't know. It feels like I'm from the southern part okay, of the Philippines. Yeah, here we go. So, yes, um, the thought is there the message is coming they're looking at it but the age maturity is not there so they're not courageous enough they're not bold enough so what do they do remember i told you if they're not talking they're stalking and that's the page of swords it's a gather of information which means they try to look into what you're doing where your whereabouts you know now if this is a person you're in relationship with then you are being stalked by your partner they're keeping tabs because the, the the nine of cups here is you going out enjoying time so gemini your partner stalking <laughs> here we go you have the Five of Swords as your um, next card over here. So um, I feel like if you guys had a fight, okay, the person right now is feeling defeated. The person right now is feeling like, what do, what what should I do so that I can get the Gemini back? The Five of Swords looks like a combination. When we did when we made this card, it's a combination of the Five of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Instead of the Five of Swords feeling like a victory, because war, there's no one who wins. Uh, we made that the Five of Swords here is a card of disappointment. This is a card of guilt. The person who does not communicate to you, who's not communicating to you right now, is feeling guilty. They have, um, they have this part of them where it's like, why did we even argue? Why did we even fight? The Five of Swords is a battle between their ego now. That's why there's no two people also here anymore. Remember, there's three. There's only one when we did it. Because in war, there's only one person who will lose and who, or who will win. It's the person who started the fight. So the person who started the fight, they will feel that they're winning in the beginning. But once they win, they would feel like they lost. So because it's about their ego. They know that it was one-sided. They know with the Five of Swords that they could have done better. Are they communicating with you? No. Do you care? No. Ten of Swords. Wow. This is interesting. Five of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Um, this is showing now that there is breakup even more. Um, as they give up, I feel like instead of communicating with you, they're too scared right now to reach out. So the person is letting go of the situation and just facing their fear. Their fear right now is to lose you. Um, will they take action to win you back, pursue you? Um, I don't think so right now. With the Ten of Swords, it's more of... Because um, there's the moon, there's the darkness, there's four swords. Um, they are contemplating on this, but at the same time, Six of Swords, they'd rather not talk about it. 
So it feels like um, a sudden ending, um, especially, you know, if I go to astrology, Saturn transiting, you know, retrograde in your eighth, sudden changes in the relationship. So a breakup um, manifests all of a sudden. Um, there's miscommunication here. There is the part where they feel betrayed. And I feel like you're, you didn't betray them at all. I don't think so. But with the Ten of Swords, this is what their, what their beliefs are right now. Mm -hmm. So let's see this Ten of Wands. This is the Grand Reveal also. You're looking forward though to talk to them. Mm -hmm. I feel like really it's like, no, let's just talk. Let's communicate basically. Nine of Cups over here shows the part where you're wishing for something. Um, like you want something to come out of this. I don't sense that you have given up on them. You have the King of Cups over here. You still love this person, which is good. So that's still in your heart. And then you have here the Page of Swords. It shows that they're wanting to message. They're still there though, but no, I mean like right now there's no sensing like when will this, per when will this person express themselves. You have the Five of Swords over here. Um, this is showing that um, their ego, their pride got in the way. And the Ten of Swords over here, um, they're ashamed of what has happened with the Ten of Swords. But I feel like your person also is guilty for betraying you. Something, that's why you're not at fault here. This is the reason why you're not caring as much because you feel like I didn't do anything. But the person right now has guilt because I feel like they lied to you with the Ten of Swords. There's something about this relationship that you didn't know that was going on. And you're still looking forward, actually with the King of Cups and Nine of Cups, you're still giving them the benefit of the doubt. But in reality, this person has done something and they cannot tell you right now, but they want to tell you pretty soon. So this is the grand reveal. Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. We'll dive deeper. Thank you very much, Gemini. Don't forget to watch your Turtle After Dark. I just did it the other night. I'll see you guys again. The link is down there. Bye guys.